Hey, it doesn't look like it's gonna rain. We're moving ahead with the paint and I'm very excited about it because we're getting the front porch finished. And I had Tony do a couple of mock-ups for me. They're basically, well, they're almost seven inch square, which I'm happy with the proportion of the column itself. They're solid wood treated, they're gonna last forever. But let me show you what we're gonna have him do. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. What we have here is a base block, which is made of that material that we use for the trim boards. It's got a 40-year warranty. This has a 40-year warranty on it. It's rough cut, but hey, this is what we're calling farmhouse chic, so it needs to be a little rough. Uh, Tony, while I was away, uh, mocked up a cap, I had a model for him to look at. He built it exactly the way it was designed. But what I came down here and saw is that it's really too big. And um, just for the proportions of this house. So what he did yesterday is he came down, we decided to cut it almost in half. And this proportion is much more attractive. And so what I want to do is just show you what we did here. What we have is about four inches of collar here, which actually goes up beyond, up behind here. A two inch, two by one inch piece here. And then just a little trim mold here, and then a block here at the top. Again, we're trying to follow some classical proportions. This is a rustic farmhouse, so we're not like being a slave to Palladio or anything. And the other thing we're gonna do is he's gonna chamfer the sides of these posts. And you can see they're pretty rough. So we're gonna do a kind of a, a coarse sanding. I don't want all of the grain to go away because it really kind of matches the grain of the materials that we've used to trim out the whole house. What he's gonna do, he's gonna chamfer from this point to here will be left alone. So what will come down is we'll come down four to six inches here. He'll chamfer the corner. Let me set this down and show you. So chamfering just means you're just gonna sort of shave off the corner. And what he did is he did a three quarter here and a half inch chamfer here. And I went for the half inch chamfer. I didn't want it too deep. So like I said, he's gonna come down about six inches. He'll chamfer in. He'll have a little bit of cove. It'll come all the way down on the post, all the way down to here to one foot from this point here. Just adds a nice little detail to it. We'll knock off the rough edges here. And these guys right here will paint it our super white color and it's gonna be beautiful. If you're enjoying these updates on how the house is coming along, hey, there's still a lot to see. So check in regularly, tell a friend and subscribe to eHow Home.